Please welcome Don Staley. <laughs> Coach Staley, welcome to The Daily Show. Oh, thanks for having me. This, this is, is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, right? Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, it's not as many people as you are normally in front of when you're coaching, but yeah, we, we make do, we make do, you know? Well, actually, actually some, some teams only get this amount of people in the stands. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, oh. we, we average about 12,000. Oh, I mean, you got, you got 12,000, so I mean... <laughs> Um, let's start with, with the, the most important part of the interview. Congratulations, first of all. 2022 Thank champions. Thank you. Um, I'd love to know, which victory is sweeter? Because the first time is like, wow, we did it. The second time is like, you said we couldn't do it, but we did it. Right. I, I, I think the second time is sweeter. Only because the first time that we, that we won, we didn't play against UConn. And UConn is considered you know, the very best, right, their tradition, right. their history and all of that. So it wasn't really validated in 2017. But this year we got a chance to play them and, um, and it, it felt great beating them. I mean, <laughs> seriously, like... How do you control your urge to be frustrated because you are a gold medal winner, you are a Hall of Famer, you've done it at the highest level. Like, surely there's a moment where you're like, give me the ball, I'll show you what I'm telling you to do. <laughs> Like, how do you not do that? Because... I, I actually do it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, here's the thing. It's just like, you know, I got a dog, Champ. His name is Champ, right? I named, mean, after, yeah. named after our 2017 team. Um, so, Champ, I wasn't a dog. Like, I'm not a, really a dog person. Mm -hmm. I'm a Champ person. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I... I train champ. Like, I tell him when something's good, and I give him, you know, great, good job. Good job, my guy. And then if he does something bad, potty in the house. No, don't potty in the house. No. So you, 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 you have to flow with what's happening. And now he doesn't potty in the house. He's made it to my bed. Like, we get our best sleep when he's in the bed next to me. Wow. So it's the same. I don't mean to, I don't mean to just say, you know, training people is like training my... No, 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 no. I, but I understand but, your mentality yes. is what you're saying, the way you have to approach what you're trying to do. Yes. I understand. It's, it's, I don't, There's I don't highs think, yeah. and lows. Like, right. like if, if one of our, our players, if she does something that's, that's terrible, I'm gonna say, that's terrible. Like, that's really <laughs> terrible. But if they, if they do something great, I'm chest bumping. I'm pumped. I'm, I'm, I, I give it its emotion that's needed. I love that. You know, you don't just inspire your players, though. You have become a motivational force within the sport as a whole. I mean, first of all, congratulations on the contract renewal, <laughs> right? That is, like, one of the biggest deals ever. <laughs> and what I, what I really enjoyed about it is you didn't just push for your contract. You said, I want this deal to be negotiated through my lawyers because I want to set a precedent so that female coaches earn the same as the male coaches who are also kicking ass in the sport. And it, it was really amazing that you did that because you look beyond yourself. I want to know why you felt it was that important to do it the way you... Because some people just go, I've got the money, thank you very much. You said, no, I want to make sure that everyone in this position gets the money they deserve. So just to be clear, I was actually making a, a lot of money before the contract. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> Timing, timing is everything. Like, I thought the time was right for me to ask for it. One was last year at the NCAA tournament, um, we saw there was a lot of inequities um, in the women's game and the men's game. Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't get the same things. Our student athletes didn't get the same things as the men's tournament student athletes got. Right, right. So I, I'm out there on the national level. I'm writing letters saying this has to, it's got to change, right? So I get home and I'm just like, I'm out here nationally asking for things to change when they're not even, they're, they're worse here wow. at, at our university. So I thought uh, with our success that it was the, the best time to ask for it. And it wasn't really for me. It was more for um, other coaches who, who just equal pay is a law. I, I, I think everybody knows that, right? It's, <laughs> it's a law, like it's a law. Um, 
But it's not just for sports, but other professions. Yes. Like, I know, know exactly women, what yeah, you mean. women yeah. have been yeah. fighting for this for the longest. And you know, if we do the same work, and we're as successful, I mean, what's 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 the difference? Right, right. I love yeah. that. I love that you push for that. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you set a precedent in the sports. And I love that you're doing your thing. You know, people love your style on the court. They go like, like you, 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 you'll put together outfits that people love. You know, you know. I remember there's that Letterman jacket that you had, and you had like the Louis Vuittons, and people were like, "This is the most stylish coach," and she's winning at the same time. <laughs> you, you, you advocate for other women in the industry. And what I love is that you, you, you proudly advocate for black people to succeed within the sport. You do something that's really special with with the net that I really love. You know, everyone cuts that championship net, mm -hmm. and they and they've got it. But what you do with it is really special. Tell if you don't mind. Would you share that with everyone? I, I will. Well, in, um, in, in 2017, um, the first black coach that won a national championship, her name is Carolyn Peck, uh, probably two years before we won, she gave me a piece of her 1999 championship net. And she said, I want you to hold this until you win your national championship, and then I want you to return it. Mm. And then I was able to do that two years later, which was 2017. And then she said, now I want you to go find the next coach that you give your piece of the net to. And it took about two years for me to find the right coach. And then finally, I was, I was actually just talking, talking with the reporter, and he asked me, who am I going to give it to? And I hadn't. And I was like, OK, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give it to every black female Division I coach, because they're looking at me and, 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 and dreaming of what I just accomplished by winning the national championship, mm -hmm. and I, I bestowed that on them just to give them a ray of hope. Now, I don't think all of them will win a national championship, but the national championship is, is um, coaching a first-generation college graduate. Right. That's, a, that's a national championship in some people's eyes. Or, or if they're having a hard day, just touch that piece of nylon to give them the hope and the push to get through a hard day. Right. Um, now, not what you're doing. It for yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. Now, no. I, we won another national championship. So, what I've promised is to give them to black men because their instinct in our in our in our sport, and also black journalists, because we need we need black journalists in the room, to to give a different perspective. Wow. Doesn't okay. mean it's right or wrong. It's just a different perspective where that. we can grow. That's why you're the coach. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on the show. Thank you. Congratulations on all your success. Wow. All right, people, be sure to follow the Gamecocks and check out Dawn's podcast, Net Life with Dawn Staley.